Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making a website using ChatGPT. Um, it's an open AI API to everyone. It's completely free. Everything that we're going to be doing today is completely free. As long as you have a little bit of knowledge on how to code, um, this will be the perfect way for you to make your own custom websites with your own custom visuals exactly how you want to. Okay. Here are a little bit of the prerequisites that you may need before you can get started. Okay. To edit any of this code, we're going to be using Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever you want to. Uh, this is what I prefer. You will need a, a GitHub account and you will also need an open AI account. Once you have all three of these, we can start getting along. Okay. So I don't want you to start from scratch. There's a lot of stuff that goes into making a website that is not necessarily um, a necessity for you to know. You need some of the basics, but you don't need to know everything, um, especially when it comes to creating a server and client side on the code. What you can do is go to our buddy here at JavaScript Mastery. He does a great job of explaining how to make these websites, especially this um, template one, to use either uh, to use ChatGPT. Okay, we're going to go to his GitHub, we're going to open it, um, and we're going to download his code right here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Starter Bootstrap um, or Start Bootstrap. They have a bunch of great templates when it comes to making websites. And what we're going to do is find one that we find interesting and appealing. And knowing that we can change the assets, the backgrounds, knowing which ones we would like to use. Okay, so agency, portfolio, all of these ones are great. I'm going to use this one because I use my website with it. Uh, I created my website using it. So I'm going to download those two things. Okay. Uh, now that we've gone through all of this, we're going to actually start coding. Okay. And we have these two very important files. Okay, the start bootstrap file. And we also have this open AI codex main file. Okay, I'm just going to open these two things up. And you're going to find that we have a lot of files that are very similar once you start opening them up. Okay, this has an index HTML inside of it, it has a script.js, a style.css, and it has assets within our client section, which is going to be what we show the final person. Uh, we have our assets right right here, like we do as well. And the uh, bootstrap start bootstrap, we have the index.html as we do here. And we also have the script.js and the style CSS. So a little bit of background on making a website. The index.html is essentially going to be the skeleton on which your website is going to be um, built on. It's going to have all the content. It's going to pull from assets. So from the images that you create uh, or that you allow this index uh, to pull from, it's also going to have the script.js, which is how the end client is going to interact with your website. And then the style.css is what um, codifies and demands um, certain parts of your index.html to look like. So it's essentially just for style, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to open the styles, style.css's. We're going to open them both up. This one is a lot better. This one. Um, uh, actually, let me let you sh let me show you uh, which each one looks like. Okay, the project.codex it just looks like kind of a chat box container, while this one, this index.html looks like this website, a very nice one. It's very portfolios, various things that we might want to use, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to basically mix them. Okay. So we're going to go to the style CSS, as we said before, and we're going to take everything in this one. And the one that we took from the YouTube channel, and we're going to put it at the very end of this, um, the very end of this here, I'm just going to copy and paste it, save it. Um, this might not look like a lot now, but just understand that we, we put that to the very end. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up our index main open with Visual Studio Code. And we're going to do the same thing here with the other one. 
open. Why is this important? Because as you can see, this is the big website. This is the pretty website. This here is going to be the small one, the small one that we didn't use, right? And what we need to understand is that these divisions and these IDs are going to be um, calling cards essentially into the style CSS, which we will be using to uh, modify what these look like. Okay, so we're going to copy this and we're going to put it, I think, right after the free download. No, that's a little bit too far at the end. So we're going to put it right here after the navigation bar. Mm -hmm. After bootstrap, yeah, right here. We're going to put that there after the header. And you'll see why I did this. Okay, later. Um, let's just save this and now we can open up this index.html. Okay. And you're going to see that after we added the style.css, we have the same style as the original codex website here in our new website, right? It also changed a few things. And that's because not everything in our style CSS is correct. Um, it changed a few things that we didn't want it to change. But um, that is good. The other thing that we're going to realize is that our asset here, our little sending message, our sending image, no longer exists in the start bootstrap. And that is because we did not add the assets from one from one project to the other. So we already have this one, we can get rid of it, we want to make sure that we put all the assets into the project OpenAI codex file, because this is the one that has the server, uh, which we will be using later on. So let's move this index to trash. And let us also move the style.css to trash. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this CSS file into the client, also move this index.js into the client. And lastly, we're going to take, um, ooh, my bad, I'm not gonna do that. We're going to take these images here and put these into assets just to make sure, oh, we're gonna replace that just to make sure that all assets we have in this open a project um, are reachable by the index.html. Lastly, we have the script.js. Okay, the script.js, why is it important? It's very important because of one thing and one thing alone. It is how you're going to interact, how you're going to send and receive um, the messages from open AI uh, on the website. Okay, so as you can see, this is going to this is project AI one. And this one is from this document listener. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy all of this as we have been doing this whole time and putting it right here at the very end of the other one. Command V perfect. Now that we've done that, um, we're going to be creating a new folder called JS. We're going to put that in the client. Then we're going to put the script.js inside the JS. This is also just very important because if you want to expand your website, you will be putting more script files, more server files, all those things into these other dot, uh, dot the CSS folder, the assets folder, the JS folder instead of just having them tacked on into a into a file like we've done here. Now we haven't actually done anything yet uh, when it comes down to OpenAI, right? Um, but first, let's marvel at what we've done with this index.html. And we will see that nothing we've done, <laughs> done absolutely nothing. Why is it like this? Why, why, why? Um, What? Hold up. Let's look at our CSS file. There's so many questions like, why is this happening? Hmm. I have no clue. Hmm. 
Maybe it didn't like a, that we did this. Uh, save that. Okay, so this most likely is going to be a problem within this. <coughs> um, within the index.html. Uh, CSS uh, style, CSS style sheet. No, that's right. Hmm. How did we break this all? Okay, so the reason why this all happened is because this index.html is not in the client uh, folder, which you're probably yelling at me for. Um, but yes, that is the most important part. Now we have it in here uh, and we can use it and we can change it. Um, but this is the important part. We have that now. The next thing, we're, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up, not the client, but where is it? No, I don't want the open folder. Okay, we're going to open desktop, open up project.main. We're going to open this one, okay? Oh, I don't want this. Okay. The most important thing here is that here in git nor, uh, git ignore, uh, we're going to have the dot environment file and we're going to make sure that the node modules are also going to be ignored. This is important later because we don't want to be adding these files into our repository when we later send this into the repository. Okay. But we're going to go here into server and we're going to create a new file called dot env. Okay. And what we're going to do is create an open AI key. Okay. Underscore API key. Okay. And this is going to equal our um, open AI key, which we will be getting from our account here in open AI. So when you open this, go to open AI, log in, they're going to give you a key. Okay. You're going to find that key and you're going to copy and paste that right into this dot environment file. Once you're able to create that environment file, make sure you save it. And from there, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to this video that I showed you um, and essentially follow everything that has to do with the connecting client and server and then you're going to go into deployment. I would love to show you this, but JavaScript mastery does it better than me. All I want to show you was that you can do this with whatever website you want, um, changing it any way you'd like. Um, so if that helped you in any way, hopefully you have a great day um, and better understand how to code a website. So have a great one. Bye.